videos about uh, presenting uh, this military grade spyware for mobile phones called Pegasus and it's been out in the news for some time already kind of a recent and uh, I wanted to present this video because I think it's um, important this spyware could be installed on your phone without you knowing and the scary part is that you know it doesn't require any action on part of the user it can be just a lost call like whoever sending the virus over your phone it can just dial your phone and then you might not even hear a ringtone uh, it, it will just um, appear like a lost call there are other methods that are not verified but uh, it, it's been reported also text messages and that's the upgraded version. The, the um, early version of Pegasus, uh, you had to do an action. You had to click a link, and then it will install the it would install the software in your phone without you knowing. Once the virus or the spyware is installed in your phone, then the uh, sender has full access and control of your phone. It has access to your microphone, to your camera, to your social media, to your emails, to your documents, to your camera, everything. And it can be monitoring you. They can be spying on you. They can listen to your conversations. They can uh, also uh, be watching you without you knowing that the camera is turned on. So this is like a snap, uh, like a snapshot of a uh, representation of what the interface looks like uh, here you can see the the camera of the phone and here you can see all the settings of the phone of the pe person that is behind the scenes controlling your phone so what is the uh, Pegasus uh, spyware software well it, it is a uh, spyware created by an Israeli company with Israel's government approval called NSO uh, it is believed that this company is now bankrupt um, due to the scandal uh, that broke out uh, a little over a year ago. Uh, it was known internationally that this spyware uh, was infecting uh, the phones of, of people. Um, so that's uh, what the concerning um, was aspect of this tool is that um, it was bought by different governments of different countries. The good news, it is unlikely that your phone has been infected. Likely targets are political figures um, and reporters, media reporters, and there's about 50,000 phone numbers that are known to be infected in the world. Um, However, uh, the bad news is that if a phone is infected, there is no way to get rid of this. The only way it is to get rid of it is to throw away the phone. Um, and if you have been targeted, then that's really bad. I mean, it's kind of hard to get out of it. Uh, I mean, you've been targeted by a government or a foreign government. The affected person will pretty much have to get rid of most electronic devices as well. So, um, if you suspect your phone has been targeted, luckily there's a free tool that you can use to determine whether that phone has been compromised and it's available at this website that I'm given here. It was released by the uh, Amnesty International organization. Those, uh, that organization was uh, able to, was involved in tracking down um, some of the infected phones. And uh, that's when the news broke out and NSO was brought to court uh, in 
and the European Union. Uh, I also like to mention that uh, this tool, uh, similar tools have been already um, been in the process of an attempt to be used in other countries uh, to include the US. Uh, the FBI uh, made a proposal uh, to do that in, in the US and it was turned down by Congress. So anyways, I have some of this setup recommendations. Uh, it is highly recommended to use uh, Windows Subsystem Linux and virtualization features uh, in order to install Ubuntu from the uh, Microsoft Store. Once you have, uh, once you install your uh, MVT a toolkit on your Ubuntu, uh, you, you you should connect over the Wi-Fi, not over directly over the USB serial connection. Uh, use the Wi-Fi connections recommend recommendations. And if downloading the packages to your WSL, you can further analyze Android APKs using an antivirus. MVT check tool uh, does come with uh, the option of using virus total antivirus. This is a command line virus scanner that connects over the internet to scan your uh, internet, uh, your packages. However, you need to have a subscription with them. So that's not gonna work. So I recommend another type of um, online uh, virus scanner such as Clan AV, that's a free uh, antivirus. And now I want to show you the MVT web page. Okay, here, here's the uh, MVT um, web page and here it, it gives you full instructions how to install it. And um, these are the basic uh, installation and in your Ubuntu environment. And uh, you just follow the instructions. Um, and if you're using Android, uh, that's that's the one I, I, I used. Uh, here you, you can go and see how you connect your phone to your computer. And basically, uh, this is the one I, I mentioned that I recommend using the uh, Wi-Fi method to connect your phone over your computer. Uh, I tried this one, I didn't, uh, it was very, I, I was not able to make this one work. So yeah, this is the one I recommend. And uh, here you, uh, you can see some of the methods uh, used to download your Android packages to your computer for further analysis. And here is the option to use virus total, the one I was talking about. Uh, please don't use that one unless you already have a premium subscription to virus total. All right, let's check out some of the output of the MVT check tool. And this is what the, the output looks like. And once you have it running, uh, you will ask yourself, okay, well, what am I supposed to look at? Uh, basically, you'll have uh, messages like this. If it's infected, then you'll you'll notice that it's going to be really a, an error message saying that it's infected. Here's some more examples here. Produce no detections, produce no detections. All right, so then I also have some... Um, snapshots of how it looks like the output when you start downloading your Android packages to the computer. And this is what it looks like. Um, this is the end pretty much. And it took about uh, about a good 30 minutes to download everything to my computer. And this is a total of 424 packages. And However, the uh, analysis for the um, to, for detecting 
Pegasus, this analysis here, it took only maybe about two minutes. That's very quick. Yeah, however, downloading the packages takes longer. And uh, here is uh, an example of scanning for viruses on the packages. And this is the, uh, the final uh, output here. It took about an hour, the entire analysis, 50 minutes and analyzed uh, a total of 800 files and this is the total number of viruses in the database for clam av um, i would say this is a step that if you already have an antivirus on your phone this is probably not necessary but it's always good to check um, do a cross check uh, with other antiviruses maybe one antivirus does not detect all of them so it, maybe it's good to try different tools to uh, do forensics analysis to your phone. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope uh, you guys uh, find this video useful. Thank you so much.